On this episode of OBD for Everyone, we're going to be using OBD Fusion's diagnostic report and explain the top 10 misunderstood engine sensors on Nissan and Infiniti's wonderful 3.7 liter V6. <laughs> In the intro, I use the term engine sensor. However, I'm actually going to explain each parameter ID or PID. Now, these PIDs are provided by the engine's onboard diagnostic system, and we'll be looking at a service called Mode 1, which will show us live data. If you want to learn how to run the diagnostic report yourself, please watch Episode 8 for iOS devices or Episode 9 for Android. These videos are easy to follow, and everything is explained step by step. The diagnostic report shown in this video was run with the engine fully warmed up and at idle. All right, enough of the intro. Let's get to the good stuff. Since this is a V6 engine, it has three cylinders on each side or bank. Bank one is on the passenger or right side, and bank two is on the driver's or left side. As you will see, a few PIDs are bank specific. The first PID under mode one is fuel system status for each bank. A value of 2 means that the system is in closed loop and it's using the oxygen sensors for feedback, and this indicates proper engine operation. A value of 0 indicates the engine is in open loop, which usually means it's still warming up. A value of 4 indicates it is in open loop due to driving conditions. Now, what this means is that the throttle is either wide open and you're accelerating hard, or the throttle is fully closed and you're slowing down. If you see a value of 8 or 16, this indicates a system fault. Calculated load value is the load on the engine as a percentage of peak torque that the engine can produce. Generally at hot idle, it's usually under 20% and it will never exceed 100%. Fuel trims. This tells you if the engine is running lean or rich. For each bank, simply add the short term fuel trim and the long term fuel trim to get the total fuel trim. Generally, this number should be between minus 10% to plus 10%. A negative fuel trim is removing a slight amount of fuel to compensate for a perceived rich condition. And a positive fuel trim is adding a slight amount of fuel to compensate for a perceived lean condition. Intake manifold, absolute pressure, is the absolute air pressure inside the intake manifold. And this is different than what a vacuum gauge would measure. To determine the gauge pressure, we need to take the value of the barometric pressure, PID 33, and subtract the intake manifold absolute pressure. At my elevation of about 256 meters or 846 feet, the intake manifold absolute pressure is around 27 kilopascals or just under 8 inches of mercury, which equals a gauge pressure of about 73 kilopascals or 21 inches of mercury. Intake air temperature. This sensor is built into the mass airflow sensor. So this PID is really the temperature of the air passing through the mass airflow sensor on bank one. The temperature sensor on bank 2 is not connected. If you don't believe me, count the wires on each mass airflow sensor. Bank 1 has 5 wires, and bank 2 has 3. Yes, isn't that interesting? O2 sensor lambda, bank 1 and 2, sensor 1. The term sensor 1 tells us the O2 sensor is positioned before the catalytic converter. However, it's not an O2 sensor. It is a wideband air-fuel sensor that reports the actual air-to-fuel ratio in lambda. Now, for a gasoline engine, a lambda of 1 equals an air-fuel ratio of about 14.7 to 1. And that's the typical value to expect at a hot idle. To convert lambda to an air-fuel ratio, just multiply it by 14.7. For example, a lambda of 0.82 equals an air-fuel ratio of just over 12 to 1. Barometric pressure is an air pressure measured at the elevation of the car. This is also known as station pressure. At my elevation of 256 meters or about 846 feet, the typical values are 98 to 100 kilopascals or about 28.9 to 29.5 inches of mercury. Generally, lower elevations will have a higher pressure and higher elevations will have a lower pressure. Absolute load value is the engine load and is calculated based on the airflow through the engine. At hot idle, typical values can be around 15%, but at wide open throttle, it can be over 100%. Accelerator pedal, position, D and E. Now, this is exactly what it says it is. The reason for the D and E is because the accelerator pedal has two sensors. This allows the engine computer to do an integrity check and verify it has received the correct position. And as you would expect, with the pedal fully released, it reports 0%. And with the pedal fully depressed, it reports a maximum value of just over 96%. Mass airflow sensor, A and B. 
This tells us how much air is flowing through each mass airflow sensor or MAF. MAF A is on bank 1 and MAF B is on bank 2. Typically at hot idle, they should show around 2 grams per second or about 0.26 pounds per minute. And it's okay if they're not the same, but they should be close. Well, that's the top 10 misunderstood mode 1 PIDs for Nissan Infiniti's 3.7 liter V6. Please keep in mind, the typical values provided may be different than yours for many different reasons like elevation, air temperature, gasoline quality, just to name a few. If you would like to understand all the Mode 1 PIDs, please watch episode 18, entitled Nissan and Infiniti's 3.7 liter V6, All Engine Sensors Explained. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this video and if you'd like to see something like this for a different engine. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.